It's bright outside. Hey, this is Ben the Coin Geek, and I want to file this under the area of you asked for it, so be careful what you ask for. Uh, the tour of the place, right? So, uh, this is a parking lot. Welcome to the parking lot. All right, and this is uh, the door. We had to pay extra to have the door installed because, um, you know, we just thought it would be a good idea to have a door. And we're so fond of the idea of having a door that we actually went ahead and installed a second door. You know, that's kind of the thing to do. And we have a fun little foyer entry that has a lot of little frame stuff and tchotchkes up here, all kinds of fun stuff. There's George. You now you can find out where's George. There he is. And then pretty much we've got this like 18 square feet of space in here. All right. So it's a little bit bigger than that, but you know, this is, this is the coin shop. This is old Pueblo coin. And, uh, one of the things we're going to go ahead and do a round robin tour going this way. First, we have a showcase that's full of more tchotchkes, more things that we probably shouldn't have bought. Um, you know, I have actually some real fun old, uh, stuff. If you like anything that is kind of more, um, what's the term I'm looking for? Ethnocentric, um, ethnographic, ethnographic. That's the term. We get some own fun ethnographic stuff. Um, I get a few little fossils and things like that. Anything that's wooden brass kind of looks cool. It's kind of old. We like old things around here. I got some random carvings up there. This, that, and the other. The big attraction to me uh, for what we do here as far as coins go and coin collecting goes is this is our weekly bid board. And so we actually have a weekly auction that we do uh, for customers. They come in, you sign up. You put your bid, uh, you get a bidder number, and then you come in during the week and you can bid on stuff. And you can see that people put their bidder number on an item and how much they're bidding on it. And so well, usually there's lots of fun deals up there. Uh, we do carry supplies. I got a bunch on behind the counter. I got a few out here, you know, your typical two by twos and some books, uh, typical pages, things that you're going to need. Um, Lots of random artwork on the wall, totally unnecessary, things that we never should have bought probably, but you know, kind of a sucker. Uh, local artist work, this is a cool piece here, this Tinkerbell, that's, that's a local artist that makes that piece of metal there. Uh, moving on, I have display cases that are only partially full because, you know, I'm filming this and we're not open yet. Uh, of course, I've got my character reading uh, Your Weight, Your Future, which I did a video on that. It's kind of a fun thing. Um, we're going to switch modes here. Those are bid boards that are getting ready to go up. Um, switch modes to the center of the room, which is one of the most popular things in the room, which is our quarter box. You can dig through that and pick stuff out for a quarter each. That's a, that's a fun way to get kids collecting, but there's plenty of adults do it too. We, I got a lot of guys who still come in. It's almost like bellying up to the bar. They go through that stuff. They pick out coins that they want. You know, it's lots of fun. So that's always that's always been a neat, I think, a neat piece of our our little shop here. Showcases that oftentimes have coins in them, which currently do not. Uh, you know, more supplies. You know, can't live without your uh, plastic folders. Um, you know, we do have workstations back here for us to make messy. We're, we're really happy to have places where we can mess stuff up. I bought cabinets so that we can hide the mess because I thought that's a better idea than letting people see the mess. Uh, some actually some pretty spectacular bronze statues up there. Those guys are pretty cool. A couple little wooden Indians. Got a wooden Indian there like that. So, oh man, Thor's hammer. Don't forget that. That was a tough pickup. Guy's hard to find sometimes. You know what I mean? He's usually out drinking, I think. But uh, anyways, we also have some counter space that really doesn't have much stuff in it because we we like to be able to help customers. We got people who bring stuff in for sale all the time. Um, you know, and that's something that we're, uh, constantly doing. So we always want to have space where we can work with people on that. Uh, more supplies, more supplies over here and over here and lots and lots and lots of books, lots and lots of books. I've read all of them page to page, page to cover, co cover to cover. By that, I mean, I've read at least the front cover and the back cover of every one of those books. Um, also my notorious belt collection silver you, you'll notice i got little silver these are like coins on the wall that are strung together this this series up here these are those belts that i've shown before i had a video where i showed my silver coin belts those are really fun um so let's see what else we got here that you can't live without if you have a coin shop 
apparently an antique register, which I, I don't use ever, but coin counters. This is a speed counter right here. For those of you who don't know, uh, that is you put a single denomination in there and you let it whirl. And then this guy here, this sorts uh, and counts at the same time. So if you put US coins in that thing, um, you can go ahead and uh, just dump in pennies through half dollars. It'll sort them and it'll count them. It separates them. So that's, I think, from the 40s from uh, Watertown, Wisconsin. What, right? What good can come from Watertown? I know you always ask that question, don't you? Uh, and then, of course, we have lots more tchotchkes up here, things that are not related to coin collecting in any way, shape, or form, uh, but somehow they ended up here. And the biggest secret of all, we found the Maltese Falcon. Don't tell anybody. Uh, he's incognito. He's got his... Uh, sombrero on so and we're really proud also of our basketball trophy here that's only for those of you who participate in our march madness which didn't happen last year apparently so that is that is the quick interior tour of uh of old pueblo coin and i'll tell you what uh typically you guys see me uh set up filming somewhere different i film a little bit uh in in, in my hollows in the back uh sometimes i film in front of uh, this area back here where I'm seated and the, the camera's facing that wall. And sometimes I film right here with all this stuff in the background. Sometimes I film over in the corner here with all that stuff in the background. Sometimes I film with that stuff in the background. So basically, like I said, there's like 18 square feet here, but I film in every corner so it feels like it feels like I'm filming uh, in a really big place. Um, I learned this, by the way, by actually being in a studio at a uh, at a local uh, a local newsroom, and their room probably was not much bigger than this. And no lie, they had like a six studio uh, camera shot set up. They had the green space in the corner. They had a sitting space, a standing space, a couch space, and so you know. It's all the all the tricks of Hollywood that you can afford. So anyways, uh, anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you were forced to watch this, I know some of you asked for this, you know, and for my poor engineer, I'm sorry. But thanks everyone for watching. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.